This is our entertainment area. We have a 50 inch HD TV that came with a uh, coach. It has a JBL stereo system, um, which I complained about in previous videos. I'm not a big fan. A um, little bit of an audio snob and this just doesn't cut it. I'm installing a soundbar with a wireless subwoofer and I'm also installing an Apple TV. I just pulled the television down and then I'm going to start tearing all this apart as well. So the Apple TV I just put right here. Um, good thing about Apple TV is nothing really to it. It's just a power wire and I used the Gorilla um, double-sided adhesive, so real heavy-duty tape, taped it to the wall. Just put a little bit of a um, wire retainer, two Velcro ties, get that up and out of the way. It'll stay there and be fine. It'll use Wi-Fi to run. The HDMI cable that comes out of here is what I'm working on next. This HDMI cable comes from the factory. It runs in the wall into the back of the JBL stereo. I don't want to mess with the factory settings, so I'm just going to unplug this and tie it up and get it out of the way. We're going to put in some uh, LED lights in the back. The nice thing about the JBLs, they're very easy to take off. And then it has four retaining screws here, 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 and here. It uses a square drive. As you see, four screws here, there, there. Those came out. All the screws are going into is particle board. This little spaghetti nightmare. A uh, piece of advice, anytime you're working on any of your wires or doing any projects with your system, make sure you check all the connections. Make sure everything's tight. Um, this splitter, which is for my TV, was actually very loose. Uh, so I just tightened that up finger tight. And now I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna go from here down to here and how I want to have that HDMI cable come out. I'm thinking from a cosmetic standpoint, I'll probably just have it come out right down here below this. So all I did was cut a very small notch below the stereo. I'll run the HDMI cable in and out directly by below the stereo. Um, I have uh, some markers that'll resemble the color of this so you won't see any of it when it's said and done. So now's the fun part. I'm going to try to fish this HDMI cable up at about a 45 to come out of this hole. So I'm going to start by trying to go up. If that doesn't work, I'll try going down. Um, I think the one thing I have going for me is that there's already a cable in that channel. So the one will be an out from the Apple TV. So that'll go here, here, end of the sound bar. The second one will be an out for the soundbar into the TV. So I'm gonna do the same thing. So now that I've got both HDMI cables fished out, all I'm gonna do is have them sit under like this so that they plug into the back of the soundbar. Then I'll mount that back in front of it. But before I do that, I wanna clean up my wall. I'd say pro tip, but that would insinuate that I'm a pro and that ain't the case. Uh, one thing I would recommend getting for your trailer, if you haven't already, is get a furniture repair set. Uh, it's different colors of brown. It's got some touch-up crayons and a crayon sharpener. And with this, I can touch up most of the ugly spots that happen from nicks, dings, dents, stuff like that. So keep one of these on hand. It's really helpful when you're doing projects like this because, as you see right here, we got just a little bit of a scratch from the saw. All I do is paint it in, and once I paint it in, I wipe the excess off, and then it'll basically blend really well without being quite a bit darker. So that took care of that little scratch there. You won't see that. All right, that feels flush. I'll test fit this again, see how the heck it worked out. All right, we're gold. That fits perfectly. So I'm not going to put that back in place quite yet. I'm going to leave this. I'm going to grab this monstrosity of a soundbar. It'll, they'll go right here, one in, one out. You know, we all have our thing. Martha's got her snobby water. I've got my snobby audio. I love, 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 love having good sounding stereo. I love having great sounding movies. And obviously I'm not gonna try to put a uh, monster, you know, 7.1 surround system in a uh, RV, 
um, especially one that is much traveling as we're trying to do. And the, being that it's a toy hauler, we don't have a regular living room. Obviously, we've got this kind of condensed version. Now, if I did have a massive um, living room, like in a front or a rear living room, like a Paradigm, oh, I'd absolutely have a massive system in it. But I know my limitations. I don't need to get in trouble with the missus. And if you wonder, the only thing holding that on is command strips. I just used a whole bunch of them. As you can see, I put the sound bar back on. I have the two HDMI wires run to the sound bar. I tuck them nice and neat underneath because there's room and it'll actually move now. I'll put my front cover back on, the little cosmetic trim plate. I'd love to go crazy and uh, shorten this cable, but I won't do that. I'm going to use a cable tie, tuck it in behind, and I'm going to have to call that good. Uh, I don't mess with splicing when it comes to uh, power cables on items like this. I screw it up. I'm out way too much money if I do something dumb. And these are kind of reusable kind of Velcro zip ties. All right, as you can see, the power cable just runs along the back tuck that under the HDMI wires, put it on the little zip tie, and put it right into the power. So now we have no more wires running up along the front or the fascia of this. So that'll be nice. And the next part is I've got to clean all this up that's hanging out the side. So for the HDMI cable that runs to the back of the stereo that I'm not going to use, I'm just going to use a small command strip. It's a little hook. I'm going to put that up there, the little command strip, and then I'm just going to hook that up, tuck it in here, and that'll stay up out of the way. Then I don't have to mess with it. I know that one always goes to this, so it's no longer an issue. These two go out. So this one, I know, goes to the input. So that goes there. Then tuck the excess back into the cavity. I'm going to do the same thing, little command strip. This one I'm going to put down. Because I want it to hold there. Same thing, we'll tuck this in. This is the one that runs in the back of the TV. So we'll leave that out about that long. Now I've got to put this back. So I'll go ahead and run that. Got to be careful not to over tighten these things. Those uh, little bitty square head screws don't go into much. It's just this little bit of backer wall. So not enough to really hold anything with any kind of secure strength. This portion is pretty straightforward. I'm just hooking back up the cable wire. Be careful when you're doing this and roll things in uh, what I call a soft roll. So this is what I'm talking about when I say a soft roll. The wires are not damaged. They're supported. They're out of the way. Same thing here. It's neat. It's on this clip, which I mounted to the side. This is on a command strip. That's on a command strip. The HDMI cable that's going into the TV is nice and short. It's nice and clean. There, I want everything neat and tidy. It makes it a lot easier when I have to diagnose problems in the future. The other thing I put on there, which we didn't record because it's literally a sticker that we stuck on the back of the TV, we have color changing LED lights just for a backlit display on the TV. Um, something that we had in our house and our sticks and bricks was a Hue system. Uh, we really loved it, so Martha wanted to have the pretty colors available to her. And, of course, for the sake of the beautiful bride of mine, it is pink. Go ahead and hit the lights. Little remote color changing. Uh, Martha will link it in the description down below. Super inexpensive off of Amazon. The last part of my audio project is the LG subwoofer. So it's a wireless subwoofer. Of course, it does need to be plugged in, but it does not have to be hardwired over to the sound bar. The very bottom shelf of the pantry, we're going to go ahead and put the subwoofer down there. We're going to lay it on its side. The plug is extremely long on this, so I drilled a hole in the back corner of the pantry, which I'll show you can't see it real well because of the couch down there in that bottom in that dark shadow is where the wire comes out and then it runs along our couch go 49ers and directly 
behind the center console, there's a plug right at the bottom. So I just ran it through there, across, and then straight down. So we're gonna lay it in the bottom, plug in the wire, and we'll just stick it over there in the corner. And now it'll be completely out of the way. And since it's plugged into the slide, I don't ever have to mess with it. So it's in, it's out of the way, it'll still connect. It's close enough to the couch that we're gonna still be able to hear the bass from the subwoofer because, um, what did Megan Trainer say? It's all about that bass. It's all about that bass. That project is done.